This, I don't believe, was open two years ago. This looks all relatively opened up. And at the very end, that's where the water came out of the mountain. And I know this was not open. Let's go check it out. Last time we were here, we were walking, and I noticed this incredible bowl. This, I don't remember if it was in this area. I think it was. We'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Again, we'll check that video. I'll leave that link in the description. But this is a much better view of it right here. This looks like it was some kind of granite maybe, and boy, was that used a lot. There looks like a drain hole over there. So this is part of the fountain. Maybe the water shot into here some ways from that way. And way down this way, there was supposedly a lady statue where the water came out of giving birth to life. Because that's what a woman with water would have meant back then. So this would have all been water through here all the way down to the Red Bull. And I'm wondering if there were statues on these slabs those things look like they've been there a really long time there's no other slabs really like that there's some here but those are the majority of them right there and i had this feels different in here there's just something different about right in here i can't tell what it is yeah this is relatively new diggings you can see that the dirt is amidst the rock there Definitely doing some work. We come back here in a year or two. This probably will be finished. You can see the rock up above. That's why I suspected back and it was right. They're gonna have use that to fill this in. You can see bracing from where they dug it away. I wouldn't even go near some of these areas. Just use your common sense when you're walking among any ancient ruins because aren't always signs up it's just called use your head use your eyes use your brain if something's leaning that means it could fall be careful and you can see this is getting deeper and deeper and watch this there's the remnants of the statue of the lady that gave water She's laying down, and the water would have flowed out of there, and then all the way down. I'm not sure of the measurement. I think it's a mile, but it goes way around the bend. The remnants of a statue, the nymph, that provided water. The water came out of there from up on the hill. These guys are working. I saw some piping, big, thick piping agricultural size. I got a feeling they're going to try to get water flowing back again through here. If the springs are still working, that could happen. Try to use your imagination and imagine these columns all restored back up. There would have been wall, maybe roof over this, some sort of shading, and then probably marble facing limestone, fresco covering all that. But this is an important area. This is the nymph statue, her head's missing. She's laying, her head would have been up this way and the water would have come from underneath her to feed the entire area. I got a feeling this is part of maybe a sauna or bath. And the reason is because the water came here, so it was relatively close. And they could have easily put it down through here. We're not allowed back in here. I don't know if we can see around, but this looks like steps with a lizard on it. If you'd see the lizard. He's hanging out. See him there? And then that would have been the bath. I think it would have gone down a bit deeper. And then maybe overflow would go through there. And I got a feeling that that line is not a water line. It's probably more dirt line, but you can see a curvature here that we can't get into here, that that might have been the sauna area. And then maybe they had the servants or slaves on this side servicing the rich people, the hoity-toity elite. And then it was enclosed, definitely for sure. And then next door, you would have had the secondary bath area. And there's the, the hole here. And then there's piping that probably went through it again. That's recent. 
That is very recent, but you can see the old structure because of the dirt through there. And let's see what's next door. They went out and down. Oh, we can go up here. So let's see if we can see through. Oh, not really. Close. Here's more of the ancient piping. The ceramic pipes that probably run, uh, I'm gonna guess for a long ways through this area. These people know how to move water. Absolutely cool stuff. It's closed up now, obviously. Probably even calcium buildup. It looks pretty solid, but it would have gone everywhere. Not sure if that goes anywhere, but again, you can see the piping here. It just runs and runs and, oh, look at that. I think it turned up. This is some kind of gutter. And I'm gonna guess there's some critters in there. They're smarter than me. We'll leave them alone. Because I gotta know what's around the corner. I can't leave any path unexplored when I have the time. This would have been a big gate. Oh, and look at the piping through here. You can see the piping there, and it would have come down. And guess what? It would have gone into the saunas that could be over here. Oh, this looks like original stonework here. Oh. And there is, it's pretty deep in there. Uh, it ends. But I got a feeling that is also either a cistern or some sort of water flow. This is pretty crazy. I can't go down there. But that is really cool what's down in there. This is just a special area. I have a feeling that everybody was allowed back here back in the day. But soon we'll be allowed to go see what's up. Here and all around. Let's see if Daniel follows up. Let's see what we can see. Dead ends. Dead ends. But why? What would have been here? There's pipe, pipe. This was a door. So this might have gone underground to a cave. Possibly, yeah. I'm gonna say there was a cave here. This looks recent. This maybe was their access way into the mountain to check their spring water if it slowed down or dried up. Let's see if I can get up here without getting yelled at. See the pipe? And that's looking out. They're gonna get water flowing. So I'm standing above the nymph statue and below this is where the water would have come out and gone all the way down to the end of the park. Pretty cool, pretty amazing, huh? So we're standing up on top of the ancient waterway that brought water in through that waterway above the lady or the nymph statue which is amazingly still here that does not look like a reproduction that looks like the original which is pretty amazing that they were able to find that because so much was looted but the water went way out that way we're standing up by what would have probably been some sort of temple maybe, some kind of covering where they would have had special ceremonies or maybe just the rich elites hung out up here. You could see that in the diorama. And this would have overlooked Perig. That's Antalya in the Mediterranean that way. You can see Perig and just try to imagine rooftops over the columns going off to each side and then the opening with this water going down the middle back in the day with tens of thousands of people here 
just living their lives. Just absolutely amazing. Tanya found a really cool hot rock. This is really smooth. And I got a feeling it was used as a tool. I think that's Jasper for the archaeologists out there. Maybe you can ID that. But it's pretty hot and heavy for the weight. Not extra heavy, but it looks pretty cool. All these column pieces parts. These are, I'm guessing these are the tops because the frills would have gone up. So these are upside down. And I don't know how many columns. I'm sure somebody somewhere with a PhD or working on it or an archaeologist has the number of possible columns that were here in Perig that they know of. Wouldn't be too hard to count. It would just take some time to do it. While looking at all the cool engravings on all these pieces of roofs and arches and everything, I came across this stone, which that is not writing. We'll just call that censorship. That could be 2,000 year old censorship and when they erased you from history they erased you permanently from history so in the artwork back then they did a lot of unique stuff there's little holes through here which indicates what that things were hung from here maybe i don't think that's natural erosion it looks like tool markings in there to me but how they got this circular it's pretty good stonework. Supposedly, 2,000 years ago, they didn't have the tools that we have now. They had different technologies, different ways of working with rock that would probably challenge even the best of stonemasons these days. And I'm sure there's a few stonemasons that would admit they have no clue how they did this. But just fields and fields of this stuff everywhere you look, and probably back in the bamboo and the deep grass. It looks like corn, but it's the bamboo. There's just buried stuff waiting to be found. There is another area roped off. They're gonna start excavating that probably deeper. I would imagine there could even be cisterns under here to help with water storage. We've seen some digging, like whole drill diggings, small. I don't know what they are, but they're around. So we're heading down the column to Western Street. Tanya's waiting for us here. We came down from the hilltop there and crossed over. Now we're gonna walk towards the gymnasium. There's a church in here that's caged off. It's got some beautiful mosaic tiles we're gonna take a look at here. It's still the original colors, at least it was two years ago. So let's cross over and go check this out. And of course, what do you know? More waterways. There's piping that I know is coming down from that arch and feeding it through here. I don't know if it dead ended there, but it's just, again, these guys were masters at moving water. So we're walking down the Western Columns Street and there are a lot of columns. That's why they call it the Western Columns Street. All around me, there's writing, Greek or Latin, not really sure, but this is just absolutely amazing. And it just keeps going on. And then we're gonna head over to the Hippodrome. Let's see what that is. Absolutely amazing. 